ceilings typically get the short end of the design deal, but this year, statement ceilings are trending. Creating a bold, eye-catching look above you might be in, but it can also quickly overpower a room. Instead of transforming the entire ceiling, construct a statement focal point. You'll still get that trending look, but it won't become overwhelming or feel heavy. This episode of On The Fly DIY is sponsored in part by Rust-Oleum. You'll need trim and four rosettes, peel and stick wallpaper and scissors, spray paint, measuring tape, a straight edge, white caulk and a caulk gun, construction adhesive and a pencil, wood filler, a drop cloth and a paper plate, a miter saw and a nail gun. First, pick your spot. I've chosen to create my statement ceiling around an existing light fixture in my dining room. You can also go with a fixtureless spot over a sitting area, alcove or entryway. The sky or ceiling's the limit. Using the light as the middle, measure out to make a square. I'm measuring out 48 inches on each side to create a four foot by four foot square. Mark each side with a pencil. Cut the peel and stick wallpaper to the same size as your four foot by four foot square. More than likely, your wallpaper will be about 20 inches wide, so you will need two full 20 inch pieces that are 48 inches long, as well as a third piece only eight inches wide by 48 inches long. Make sure you cut the pieces so the patterns line up. Begin affixing the wallpaper to your square by using the pencil marks as a guide. With a four foot square, I was able to place one full piece of 20 inch wide wallpaper without having to adjust because of the light. Loosen the fixture's canopy so that you can stick the next piece of wallpaper behind it. You can either turn off the electricity to this light or be really careful not to touch any wires as you work around the fixture. Measure from one end to determine where to cut away the portion of the wallpaper so the electrical box isn't covered. Finish affixing the remaining wallpaper and smooth out. Spray paint the rosettes and trim and let them dry according to the directions. I'm using Rust-Oleum's 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer in Gloss White. Once fully dry, flip over the rosettes and add a dab of construction adhesive to the backs of each. Firmly press onto each corner of the wallpaper square. Overlap the wallpaper just a bit, but evenly so that you have the same amount of overlap on each side. Shoot a nail or two into each rosette to keep it in place until the adhesive dries. Measure between each rosette and cut the trim to fit. Run a bead of adhesive on the back of each piece before pressing into the ceiling and follow with a couple of nails from the nail gun. Use wood filler or white caulk to fill in the nail holes. I prefer the wood filler as it fills quicker and doesn't wipe away as easily. When the wood filler dries, spray a bit of the paint onto a paper plate outside and then use your finger to dab the paint onto the nail holes. I found that two coats of dabbed paint made the filled nail holes disappear. Cock the lines between the rosettes and trim. This will give everything a seamless, professional finish. Wipe up any excess caulk with a damp cloth as you go. A trending statement ceiling focal point in one afternoon. Sponsored in part by Rust-Oleum. On the fly DIY.